Hi guys, Rui here and this time I'm going to explain how to get Google Mobile services on your phone just using your computer, alright? No need for a USB Type-C adapter or a pen drive. But first, yes, let me speak to my Portuguese speaking followers. Para vos explicar que estou novamente a falar inglês porque tem surgido também a necessidade de fazer um vídeo deste tipo em que explico como é que se instalam os serviços móveis da Google num Huawei ou num Honor usando o computador, ou seja, não usando este adaptador USB normal para USB tipo C e uma pendrive USB. Bom, muita gente tem sentido essa necessidade e é isso que eu vou explicar. Quem se safar com o inglês também poderá utilizar este vídeo para o fazer. E agora sim, despeço-me porque vou falar novamente em inglês. Vemos-nos num, num vídeo muito em breve, ok? So, back to you guys, and as I was saying on this video, I'm about to explain you how to get Google Mobile Services running uh, on your Huawei or Honor device, okay? But this, using only the PC, your computer. This time I will not be using uh, this adapter or a pen drive to connect to the phone. This will be done only with this cable. This is the cable that you got from your uh, device when you bought it. It's, it's just a USB uh, cable that connects or attaches to your phone via USB Type-C. So, let me uh, just uh, tell you a few important things. First, you will need to download um, two things. One of them is High Suite. It's, it's a tool done by Huawei. I'll uh, leave the link on the description of this video. It's a tool that they've developed that will let you either backup or restore something from or to your phone. What we'll be doing is um, to restore something that I've prepared into your phone. Basically, we're, we're, what we'll be doing is just installing uh, an app, uh, G, the G Purple app, onto your phone. That's basically it. But um, after that is done, we'll need to, um, well, use a lot of APKs just like in the previous method. And I'll need you to download also to, to copy that um, APKs onto your phone since you're not using an external uh, drive. So this I'll also be explaining on this video how to do. And then when all that process is done and complete, I'll be back here to talk to you for a while and to say goodbye because actually I'm going to send you to another video I did about a week ago. I'm sure you've seen it, by the way, um, where uh, I use uh, this phone to install Google Mobile services. And this is a Huawei P40 Pro Plus, but it can be done, I've said before, on many other phones. But, um, well, I'll be sending you to that video because, uh, well, it's easier for me. That's just it. And it's all the same to you, so no problem. You'll just have to go to a certain part of the video, of course, and I'll tell you right now, it's minute 9 and 15 seconds, 9.15, and you can start from there. There's just one important thing. Every time I say and use USB um, drive on that video, I'll be, of course, talking about uh, on, if you are using this method uh, on the computer or through the computer, you will want to, of course, to use internal storage. But that's the only, only, only difference. The rest is all the same. So that's why I don't need to do another video. Um, anyway, that video works. It has like a thousand likes. It works and um, yeah, it's everything you need. But right now I'll send you to my computer and to that's Tintin that you'll see, by the way, my dog. Um, and uh, then when the next part is over, I'll come back and explain all of this again to you. Okay. So the best of luck. This part is easy. Just go with the flow. See you in a second. So starting from the beginning, what you see there in my desktop is two icons. One of them is to High Suite, um, the app that I've asked you to download from Huawei. You'll find the link on the description of this video. Please download it. Please install it. All right. The other icon below is to the zip file I've asked you also to download. And, uh, well, you should have copied it to your desktop. Do not extract it, 
just leave it there anywhere you want to but my uh, well my recommendation is the desktop now what we'll be doing is opening the iSuite app this is what it looks like and now although you cannot see it on the video what I'll be doing is just attach the phone to the computer through the USB cable okay so now on the left of the screen you're looking at my phone I've just put it there so that you can see what I'll be doing on the phone uh, and also on the computer. The left, of course, is my phone. So by now, if you look at your phone, it's showing the same thing mine is showing. Use USB 2 and please choose transfer files, okay? Transfer files. Now, even though they are physically connected through the cable, what we want to do is get them talking to each other, high suite and the phone. And that's the next part. So on the phone, I want you to go to settings and then search for H I S the first three letters for high suite H I S. Now you have to choose that option. Allow I suite to use H D B. Now you can activate that checkbox to allow always the connection between iSuite uh, to your computer. That's not that important, but yeah, if you want to check it and tap on OK. And by now, if you look at the computer, you will be letting us know that iSuite is being installed on the phone. Tap on OK. Wait for a while while, well, iSuite gets really installed on the phone. iSuite might open automatically on your phone or it might, well, it might not. Just find it. It should be on the second home screen and tap on it to open. When it opens, tap on next and agree and afterwards allow, allow, allow and allow. And then you get this number. It's a different number for every phone, so I'm not going to bother to say to you out loud. I'm sure that on your phone there's also a number showing up. Type that number on your computer. Okay, so this part is done. They are connected. You'll even see on the High Suite app that phone on the left is, well, it's your phone. It's what's happening or showing on your phone screen just like in mine. So on to the next part. On the computer, on your iSuite app, click on Restore. Now your computer might tell you to install the latest version of the backup app. If it does, just say OK because, well, there's no other solution. Mine didn't, but yours might. That's the thing that might happen. If it does, click on your computer on OK and let him install whatever he wants to. So if your computer looks like mine by now, it's saying that there is no backup file, no backup to restore from. And that isn't a problem, of course, because we are going to give him one. To do that, you should open the zip file. Just click on it and open it. Never mind this. Now I must hide the phone from the screen because, well, yeah, I have to. So if you look at the contents of the zip file, you see two folders. We only need one of them right now, the one at the bottom. And now what I want you to do is look at the iSuite app on the computer. Of course, you'll see that path and then you see two icons. One is a folder and one is, well, I think it's a create something. Uh, I want you to click on the folder. Yeah, I want you to go right there. Click. And a window pops up. Yes, I'll just drop it here. And now what I want you to do is drag the Huawei folder that's inside the zip file into your window that you've just opened. Here we go. OK. 
okay and now it's still not working but just close that window reopen it again by tapping on restore and yeah and now iSuite recognizes what we just did so now yes please click on restore and now it asks you for a password the password it's written on the password int so well i can spell it for you i s t o e s t a l i g a d o 20. it's over there okay it's in front of your eyes here it is so you can also see what i've just typed click on ok wait a second or two So as you can see at the top, I've got a red exclamation mark. You might also get one of these. You might uh, get a green uh, check. Either way, it's fine. Okay, no problems. Just click on close and be done with it. And if you want to be sure about it, just go to your phone, to your mobile phone and check on the second home screen if there's the g logo app the lz play i mean this one that i'm moving right now okay if it's there everything went as it should okay that's what we need but we're not done yet now what you must do is drag the other folder from inside the zip file onto your desktop at least that's my recommendation After that is done on that blue bar, the one that says Ohm, it also says My Device. Please click on My Device. And then at that uh, gray column, please click on File Manager. Afterwards, go to Import here at the bottom. Choose Folder. And through this menu, choose the folder that you've just extracted to find it. Click on OK. Then Wait for a second or two while it uh, copies the contents of that folder onto your phone, into the internal storage. So that is our folder, 00 Android 10. Once all of the contents are copied, the process is complete. Okay, so as I've said before, now is the time to say goodbye to you guys for this video and to send you on to the other one that I did a week ago uh, where I explained how to install Google Mobile Services. Of course, on that video I'm using, well, this pen drive, I think it's this one, uh, attached to this adapter and everything is attached to the phone. Of course, you will not be needing any of this because by now you have everything you need on your phone okay so what you want to do right now is go to minute 9 15 of the video that you'll find uh, well just after the download files that i've uh, well that you've just downloaded minutes ago okay so now you want to click on that video and you want to go to minute 9 15. let me just say a few things that uh, well are kind of corrections actually to the video that you'll be seeing first the truth is that was the first time uh, I did it and it seems that by now no one is um, being able to uh, add more than one account on your phone okay so in a few seconds I'll be saying that this is when you can add more accounts I guess that's no longer true or it might not even be true by then but that's wrong you cannot add more accounts just just one google account that's the one you can have and that's pretty bad but it, it is what it is so that's number one okay just one account oh and by the way if you do know how to solve this how to add more than one account please be clear about it and explain how to do it in the comments below okay I'll be uh, sure to just, well, to put that uh, explanation on the description of this video. So if there is a solution, it might be already on the description of this video. 
but please do if you know how to do it please explain clearly how to do it so that i can help other people so that you can help other people but uh, there's also another problem there's a problem with uh, notifications not the ones that you'll see on the next video that keep popping up those are on the installation and at the end of the installation they should completely disappear if they don't you have to go back to a certain point where i tell you in the video and uh, well if they do persist you will have to start from scratch i would recommend resetting the phone and start from zero okay the truth is this method works it might not be on the first try users are reporting that it's on the second on the third on the fourth on the 15th try but they can do it and attention if i'm saying 15th try 15 it's because it took more than a day for some people to get this working okay this is true i've seen it happen to me on other phones not on this one actually but on other phones they were really hard and yours might be really hard also but the method is working okay there is a problem though with notifications Lots of users are reporting that they don't get notifications from Gmail or from uh, Facebook or from WhatsApp or from Slack or from whatever they use, okay? Again, if you do know how to solve this notification bug, I'll call it this, please do explain on the comments how it's done and I'll highlight it on the description of the video, okay? And thank you very much because a lot of people are suffering from this. I do not know how to solve it. That's the truth. At least not by now. And today it's the 27th of June, 2020. But I guess the year is not that important. Anyway, uh, I guess I guess that's it. So again, my name is uh, Rui. Very nice to meet you. Uh, consider subscribing because if there is a new method and if I can solve all of this, I'll be sure to post another video explaining everything. So you might want to, well, just to subscribe so that you can keep an eye on my videos. Most of them are in Portuguese, of course, but maybe you'll be lucky and I'll find a way. Uh, by the way, I just added a donate button uh it's through paypal it's really easy if you want to donate 50 cents thank you very much i'll be very grateful anyway um that's it please do uh like this video if uh, the method worked for you and i'm sure it did and also if you have any questions please do use the comments below that's uh, where i'll be and we can talk for a while and well if you do by the way if you do say that yes this method works i'm using uh, huawei p40 whatever please do say the device you're using so that everyone knows that it works on this device and that device and that device and that device all right and uh, another thing just is the most important about well this part of the video now you'll find the continuation of this video on the description below and start at minute 9.15. Bye-bye.